Hello everyone, my name is Igor and in this video we're going to be installing the fuel pump on my Nissan 350Z. So the fuel pump I'm going to be using today is AM320. Uh, so I already got started. <laughs> As you can see, to get the access to the fuel pump, I took off the passenger side seat. Then you're taking off this cover and this thing just pops right out from this little cabbie and you have access to the fuel pump. There is a little cover like this, four, four things holding it in place. You just twist them with the pliers and it comes right out. Then, you have the fuel line connected over here. You take it off uh, and the uh, wire harness. And then next, and I believe the last thing in order to get it out of the fuel tank, there is a couple of the Phillips bolts. You take them off, then disconnect. There is another connector inside and you're gonna be able to take it off completely. So I'm gonna get to it. Okay, so pretty much as soon as you took off this uh, thing which holds the whole hanger in the tank, you pull it up and then there is this line. I, to be honest, don't know what it is. I just unhook it and I was able to pull out the whole assembly. So right now I'm gonna have to take it apart, pull the fuel pump out and put the new one in. So I'm gonna show you that. Okay, so we got it all set on a table. I'm gonna start taking it all apart. So I'm gonna start with this little, I believe it's some kind of sensor. Got it to the side. Then a couple of clips, or just one clip. Let's see. Also, get those connectors out. And it comes out just like this. So our fuel pump sits over here. To get it off, you just have to unclip it like this. Get this clip out of the way. Then there's a grommet. I'm gonna have to unplug it. Unplug it. We got it off. This is our factory fuel pump. This is our new fuel pump. Comes with some stuff. It got its own filter, but I think I'm gonna reuse the OEM one. It uses exactly the same one as the OEM look, looks like it. So we don't even have to splice it in. It should just clip in. Let's make sure they're about the same size. They are pretty much on point. I'm gonna take this grommet out, just like this. I'm gonna take this thing out. I'm gonna use the flat hat to pop it out. This just slides off. So the old fuel pump, we're just gonna set to the side. Gonna take the new one, uh, remove this cap from the top. You're gonna slide in this grommet over here. Okay, so after some of the Googling and asking the questions, I also been told that I need to drill out this hole in this plastic piece, which sits, let's see, over here. There's also an O-ring, which I lost, so I'm gonna have to replace it. It sits in here like this. I need to drill out this hole with the 764 uh, drill bit and we want to make sure that we don't go the, through the plastic because that way this piece is going to be busted. So I'm just going to slowly drill it out with 764 and okay so we got the drill bit through there. That's it, that's drilled out. We're gonna snap it in back in here with the new O-ring. Also, instead of reusing the factory fuel filter, 
we're gonna use the one which was provided with the fuel pump and then we're gonna have to modify this piece to hold fuel pump in place so we're gonna take it off again just like this then we're gonna snap on this new fuel filter uh, then there is also a retainer clip I'm gonna put it on there the new one the one like this okay so I got it then what I did to be able to do that there, there was like four plastic tabs on the pump itself let me see they were like rectangular shape sticking out a little bit so i cut them all out and then it's pretty tight fit but i was able to clip it in so from now on i just have to put all of the wiring back in there and pretty much we're all done with the fuel pump installation so right now i'm gonna go get or find somewhere the o-ring for this thing so i can put it back in here and i'm gonna assemble everything back together and put it back in a car okay so i have i got the o-ring in here so we can go ahead and clip it in just like so so we got it all connected like it's clipped in over here so it means it's good right now we're gonna reconnect those wires which we took off earlier one here and one over here gotta put this little thing back in place like this and then we're ready to drop it back down in the car okay so i'm gonna go ahead and put a new gasket on the fuel fuel tank all rain then you're gonna drop it in previously pulled this hose out so uh we have a hose over here in a tank it's gonna go on this connector over here so we're gonna carefully drop it down then we're gonna snap on that hose like this then we're gonna make sure the gasket stays in place so we got it on there then we're taking this little thing and then we have six little bolts which are holding it in place okay so i've got all of those bolts on there right now we're just gonna tie it up a little bit just slightly don't overdo it because you don't want to strip it Okay, right now we're gonna snap on back the fuel line, snap on there, and here somewhere is supposed to be, oh it's right here, the wire connector, so it just snaps on like this, then I'm gonna put this cover back on here. Wires twist, twist both those things back how they were like this. There is some insulation we're gonna put back on here.
Okay, and then since this piece just swaps on, swaps on there. Here. That's it, all done. You also want to check for leaks before closing everything up. That's what I did of the camera. No leaks, we're all good. So that's pretty much it for the installation of the EEM 340 liters per hour, per hour fuel pump on the Nissan 350Z. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If it was, please hit the like button for me and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay tuned.